Welcome to the InCycle Blueprint introductory video. InCycle Blueprint is a TFS template used to adopt ALM best practices. Based on the application of Agile principles, it is designed to maximize your ALM ROI by expanding the use of Visual Studio. InCycle Blueprint is a reflection of over 10 years of industry experience and is the culmination of countless observations with hundreds of .NET teams. The goal of this video is to provide you with a sound understanding of what the InCycle Blueprint is, how it can improve your team's performance, and how to get started. Let's start by reviewing the ALM Improvement Framework as a whole. In essence, it's a comprehensive set of tools and know-how that allows software development teams to adopt best practices. For those of you that aren't already familiar with a practice assessment, it allows you to objectively evaluate your team's practices and quickly identify areas of improvement. In the context of an improvement project, it also provides a baseline by which improvements will be measured. If you haven't already completed an assessment, the tool is available free online at the ALM Catalyst website. Once an assessment has been completed, the next step calls for the creation of an improvement project. Not unlike other projects, an improvement project requires basic preparation work. For example, you have to assemble people, install tools, and secure project funding. Our focus going forward will be on the second half of the framework, specifically InCycle's Blueprint Template. Once you've determined what areas you would like to focus on, the template helps you create an improvement backlog and execute against it. After you've completed one or more improvement iterations or cycles, the framework suggests you come back, reassess, and once again, feed your improvement backlog. At this point, let's take a closer look at the mechanics behind the process and tools. The ALM improvement process is based on the application of Agile principles. The logic, terminology, and overall thinking is very much anchored in Agile concepts and Scrum. If you remember, coming out of the assessment, we've identified practices to improve. We now need to translate those items into specific improvement actions. To do so, we first begin by creating an improvement backlog. To facilitate this activity, the framework includes a library of ready-to-use improvement items, or blueprints. The blueprints provide examples of valid improvement items that are leveraged to pre-populate your improvement backlog. For example, how to implement bug management, continuous integration, or source control with TFS. Once again in line with Agile concepts, a project is comprised of multiple iterations whereby prioritized improvement items are selected from the backlog for implementation. Similarly, a completed item is expected to be evidenced in practice. In this case, the framework borrows from the concept of definition of done. The InCycle template also provides reports to help manage your iterations. Looking at the tool itself, let's start by opening a project in Team Explorer. In this case, we'll use an existing project which was created with the InCycle Blueprint template. Once inside a project, we use the Blueprint library to view ready-to-use improvement initiatives. These blueprints are used to develop the initial project backlog. Blueprints are organized by practice area. They contain the objective of an initiative, the benefits you can expect to realize, and other important details like common tasks. Armed with this information, a team can quickly understand the value of an improvement initiative as well as the anticipated impact on the team. The pre-populated blueprints cover the span of ALM. The good news is that you can add your own blueprint, remove an existing one, or modify a blueprint as required. The team is expected to take full ownership of a library. The goal is to inspire you and help you get started quickly. To create an improvement item from a blueprint, you simply right-click on the blueprint, pick Create Copy of Work Item, and select Improvement Item as the work item type. This creates an improvement item that inherits the blueprint content. You then specify the team for which the item applies. Next, select the iteration where it will be assigned. The InCycle ALM Improvement Framework suggests to group iterations in cycles. Cycles are used as an opportunity to reassess practices to refine priorities for future iterations. Incidentally, these reassessments also provide executives with the visibility into the realized benefits of the improvement project. In this case, we are not assigning the improvement item to an iteration. Therefore, it'll remain in the backlog. Before saving, we'll complete the status information, prioritization details, and modify the inherited fields as necessary. The result is an improvement backlog that you can use to prioritize improvement opportunities. Once it has been established, you'll plan for your next improvement iteration, usually every four to eight weeks, by assigning improvement items to the next iteration. At the start of an iteration, these items are broken down at the task level. During the iteration, teams update work remaining as they perform the work. Project advancements can then be tracked through the use of common Agile reports applied to an improvement project. Sample reports include an improvement burndown, showing how quickly the team is completing work and how much remains, an iteration burndown, 
illustrating the team's progress in the current sprint. Team velocity, indicating how much improvement value is delivered by iteration. Finally, progress by team, which helps you track how far each team has progressed in implementing their respective improvement initiatives. To summarize, the principle behind the InCycle Blueprint is the idea of enhancing ALM practices in small increments, improving skills, processes, and tools continuously. The InCycle Blueprint is an agile-based tool including a turnkey TFS template and a series of ready-to-use initiatives to accelerate time to improvement. Bottom line, the InCycle Blueprint and the larger ALM improvement framework are designed to enhance software development. That means improved quality, increased velocity, business value delivered, and overall team satisfaction. This concludes our introduction. We now invite you to visit either the ALM Catalyst or InCycle Software website to download the TFS template, blueprints, and a white paper with more detail. If you would like assistance getting started, we recommend you contact a Microsoft-certified ALM partner. Thanks for listening.